Our today's topic is phytochromes. And in this class, we will discuss their structure, function, and mechanisms of action. Phytochromes are photoreceptors that respond to environmental light conditions. Phytochromes are dimeric chromoproteins. Dimeric means composed of two identical monomers. So this is a structure of a phytochrome and uh, these are uh, two monomers. With each monomer possessing a covalently linked open tetrapyrrole phytochromophile as a chromophore. So this is chromophore group. In higher plants, phytochromes are encoded by small gene families. For example, five members in Arabidopsis thaliana. Five members, phytochrome A2, phytochrome E. They are further classified into two types. Light labile type 1, phytochrome A. And light stable type 2, phytochrome B2, phytochrome E. Structure of phytochromophore. Phytochromophore is a soluble chromoprotein with a molecular mass of 250 kg. Phytochrome occurs as a dimer, as I already told you, made up of two subunits. This is one and this is second subunit, uh, each with molecular mass of 125 kg. Each subunit consists of two components. One is light absorbing pigment molecule, that is chromophore. And the second is a polypeptide chain, apoprotein. Apoprotein and chromophore together make up the holochrome, right? So this is PR form of phytochrome and this is PFR form of phytochrome. This is C-terminal regulatory histidine kinase reason, HK reason. And this is N-terminal photosensory reason with three conserved domains. PAS, GAF, and PHY. Next is structure of a chromophore. A chromophore is a linear tetrapyrrole phytochromobili. So, this is a structure of phytochromobili uh, as a chromophore. So, here it is a ring attached to uh, protein. This is protein made up of different amino acids. So, ring attached to protein through thioether linkage, thioether linkage to a cysteine residues. These are amino acids and this is cysteine residue. Chromophore undergoes cis trans isomerization at carbon 15 in response to red and farlet light. When this cis form absorbs red light, this red light convert this uh, cis form into transform. So this is transform of uh, chromophore. Next is synthesis of phytochromobilin. Phytochromobilin is synthesized in plastid. This is plastid, cytosol part, and this is nucleus of a cell. So phytochrome apoprotein alone cannot absorb red or farad light. Light can be absorbed only when the polypeptide is covalently linked with phytochromobilin to form hollow protein. So after synthesis, phytochromobilin leaks out of the plastic into cytosol. Then this phytochromobilin assembled with phytochrome, right? So this is phytochromobilin, this is phytochrome. Then this phytochromobilin assembled with phytochrome, a complete holoprotein is formed. So assembly of apoprotein with chromophore is autocatalytic. Next is domain architecture of phytochromes. So there are three phytochrome subfamilies. Plant phytochrome subfamily, uh, cyanobacterial phytochrome subfamily, and uh, bacterial phytochrome subfamily. All families share a common uh, domain architecture. Just look at this diagram. This is domain structure of plant phytochromes. 
this is cyanobacteria uh, bacteria phytochrome and this is bacteriophytochrome subfamily domain structure so all share a common architecture consisting of n terminal photosensory region with three conserved domain termed as p2 or pas domain p3 or gaf domain and p4 or phy domain second is C terminal regulatory histidine kinase or histidine kinase related domain HKRD or HK. So, this is domain architecture of phytochromes. Now, molecular mechanisms of plant phytochrome signaling. Now, this is phytochrome illuminating dark brown tissues with red light converts this phytochrome from R absorbing uh, PR form to FR absorbing PFR form. Photoconversion of PR to PFR effects a conformational change uh, that facilitate phosphor transfer uh, phosphor transfer to a bound anchoring molecule X, right? So, now just look at this complex. Complex PFR ADP XP complex. This complex having ADP. So, after that, this complex dissociate upon ATP to ADP exchange and PR, um, this PR form, it migrate, uh, migrate to nucleus. This PR, PFR migrate, uh, migrate to nucleus where an terminal photosensory domain can interact with regulatory transcription factor. This altered activity of putative anchoring molecule XP is in, uh, in Vizat to initiate a cytoplasmic output signal. Now, function of phytochrome. The phytochrome system acts as biological light switch. It monitors the level, then intensity, duration, and color of environmental light. Red light converts phytochrome from R-absorbing PR form to FR-absorbing PFR form. PFR can slowly revert to PR in the dark or uh, break down over time. Active form of phytochrome that is PFR form. Active form of phytochrome is a PFR form. It can directly activate other molecules in the cytoplasm or it can be trafficked to nucleus where it directly activates uh, or uh, represses specific gene expression. Now phytochromes have very diverse regulatory function uh, throughout the entire life cycle of plants, mediating uh, light effects on seed germination, then the switch from non-photosynthetic growth in dark grown seedling to uh, photo autotrophy, then neighbor sensing and uh, timings of flowering, etc. So first is phytochrome system and growth. Phytochrome system and the growth. Plants use phytochrome system to grow away from shade and toward light. Exposure of red light converts phytochrome in the shaded leaves to the means PR, PR is inactive form which slows growth. So leaves in full sunlight are exposed to red light and have activated PFR which induces growth toward sunlight areas. Second is phytochrome system in seeds. In seeds, Phytochrome system is used to determine the presence or absence of light rather than quality. This is especially important in species with very small seeds and therefore uh, food reserves. For example, if lettuce seedling germinated a centimeter under the soil surface, the seedling would exhaust its food resources and die before reaching the surface. So seed will only germinate if exposed to light at the surface of the soil causing PR 
to uh, be converted to PFR, signaling uh, the start of germination. In the duct, phytochrome is in inactive PR, uh, PR form, so the seed will not germinate. Photoperiodism. Plants also use uh, the phytochrome system to adjust growth according to the season. Since Unfiltered sunlight is rich in red light, but deficient in far red light. Uh, at dawn, all the phytochrome molecules in the leaf convert to the active PFR form and remain in the form of uh, in the form until sunset. Since PFR reverts to PR during darkness, there will be no PFR remaining at sunrise if the night is long, means in winter, and some PFR remaining if the night is short means in summer the amount of pfr present stimulates flowering then setting off winter buds and vegetative growth according to the season so thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more thank you